Well, if you if you wanted to prevent a, a further reduction in the number of wolves in Montana, well, you just stop killing them. The American public doesn't want wolf delisting. They got over a million comments opposed to it from the public. We've moved into their territory, set up big farms and ranches filled with what wolves see as dinner, and told them that if you come close, we're going to kill you. The most ancient and most effective tool to minimize conflict was invented probably 3,000 years ago and is the, the guard dog. The wolf has created a beautiful ecosystem that includes a beautiful, healthy herd of elk, the way it's supposed to be. It cannot work if the livestock person has to pay out of his pocket everything to protect his livestock from the wolf. It just can't work. We want to make sure that wolves are in the wild, but that people don't have to sacrifice for that. We really do believe in coexistence. Gray wolves can live anywhere that humans will tolerate them. So the question is, where are we willing to tolerate them and how many are we willing to tolerate? That's not a decision that one person gets to make. It's a decision that we as a community have to make.